Good morning, PHS. Today is November 2nd, 2017. Welcome to this week's edition of PTV. I'm Jacob Kowach. And I'm Kelsey Vance. Thank you for joining us. Today, we are starting off your show with SRT meetings so we can get you out the door and where you have to be. Chinese Club, you guys are meeting in room 113. Spell Bowl, you are meeting in room 120. GDC, you guys are gathering in room 146. Then continuing all day today until 3.30, FAFSA meetings for your seniors and parents are going on in the GO Center. After school for two hours, starting at 3.30, Robotics Club is meeting in room 141. Students involved in the upcoming play, you guys are having rehearsal in the auditorium from 5.30 to 9. And teachers, just a reminder, there is a PEA ratification meeting immediately after school at 4, or you can attend the one at 6 in the Navy Room in the WSOI if that is more convenient. As you may remember, we told you Mrs. Smelter's class was picked for answering our PTV trivia question, Who is the richest person in 2017? Her class answered Jeff Bezos, who is the founder of Amazon. PTV videographer Xandra Kurtz and our crew stopped by their room to deliver a huge bag of popcorn for answering last week's question correctly. This might have been the most hyped up class we visited this year. Someone even did splits. Now moving on to the PV tri PTV trivia question last week. We asked what the fear of Halloween is known as. The answer is soonophobia. Thank you to the more than 18 classes that submitted answers, and congratulations to Miss Mercer's room, who was picked by our random selector as the winning room. Good job, guys, on answering the question correctly, and expect your basket of Halloween treats to be delivered here in just a few minutes. Are you hyped for the good, tasty food this Thanksgiving? Well, this week's trivia question has to do with the upcoming holiday. Thanksgiving is all about what you're thankful for, and while filling up on hearty food and holiday sweets. Well, in America, that is. But have you ever wondered how the holiday is in celebrated in other countries? Or if it's even celebrated at all? For this week's PTV trivia question, we look north to our friends in Canada. When does Canada celebrate Thanksgiving? If you know the answer, tell your SRT teacher to hurry up and submit your class's answer via email to phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Again, this week's trivia question is, when does Canada celebrate Thanksgiving? Good luck to everyone participating. Remember, the winning room is rewarded with the things, tasty gift courtesy of PTV. On the lunch menu today, we will be having chicken sandwich, steamed broccoli, berry carrots with ranch, and anything of your choice from the fruit and veggie bar. Can you guess the teacher while giving a random clue about them? Well, that's a new segment here on PTV. Multimedia journalists Kiara Clements and Megan Scott are the minds behind this new segment. They hit the halls to see which of you guys were willing to play along in our first episode of Te Guess That Teacher. Let's see if we had any winners. What teacher was in the Air Force for 10 years? Mrs. Bradway. What teacher plays an all-teacher band? Mrs. Bradway? <laughs> Wrong. Wilson? Wrong. Mr. Singleton. This teacher owns a 95 pound pit bull. Mr. Singleton? No. Mr. Kane? Yes. Great job, guys, on that new segment. Moving on, the Sweetheart Dance is here next Saturday, November 11th. The event will be held from 8 to 11 in the High School Plymouth Multipurpose Room. The theme this year, if you haven't heard, is The Great Gatsby. U93's DJ Sticky Boots will be here, so, and of course, so will the ever-so-popular photo booth. Tickets this week during lunch are 20 bucks per person. Next week's tickets will cost 25 per person. You must buy them in advance, or the tickets will not be sold at the door. It's time to look at what's making news in the world of sports. Stay tuned for Notre Dame highlights from our PTV sports crew, plus more. Captain Phil Skip Messer. I'm with the 112 Fighter Squadron, 180 Fighter Wing out of Toledo, Ohio. I was the lead F-16 for the flyover this afternoon. You're watching Notre Dame football on PTV Sports. Go Irish! This past Saturday, PTV's Josie Kuntz and freelance student Kirkland Hetchett were on the sidelines of the Notre Dame in North Carolina State. Let's take a look at their team coverage recap from Notre Dame Stadium. Let's 
get back out on the field and, and get back to work. And, and that's that's hard to build. And it took us a long way, a long time to get to that. And, and our guys just have that never flinch, keep playing one play at a time. And the cumulative effect of, of that is what you saw today is that we could run the ball 15, 16 consecutive times at the end of the game against a very, very good um, North Carolina State football team. To be a good team, you got to beat. You got to beat the good teams, and uh, you know we uh, we obviously know what's at stake and, and, and the quality of opponents that we've played the last two weeks. And it's a pride about just you know doing the job. It's a personal pride to be the best we can be, both as an individual and as an offensive line unit. And uh, we, we take that attitude to work each and every day, and it's, uh, it's it's something that we've really harped on since we got back in January. And I think it's paying dividends for us so far. I mean, just going up there and working out each and every day. The coaches continue to push us not to relax, not to, to settle down. They continue to go out there and fix the things that need to fix. And we're going to go back next week and continue to improve to have a better outcome next week. So I think just having that mindset that we're going to continue to get better, we're going to continue to dominate, and just following the coaches' process, nothing can go wrong. Good job guys, Notre Dame won by a score of 35-14. to Our PTV crew will be on the sidelines covering the Irish again this weekend with Notre Dame which is Wake Forest. If you'll be watching the game, keep an eye out for PTV's Megan Scott and Kiara Clements. We'd like to once again thank Notre Dame for football for granting PTV media credentials. Last week we introduced a new segment, the PTV One Minute One-on-One. -on -one. This week we are bringing you back again with another athlete. BTV's Courtney Cook and Josie Koontz caught up with our second PHS athlete for the PTV one-on-one, -on -one, one-minute hot seat. BTV's Josie Koontz, and I'm here with Garrett Tharp for the one-minute one-on-one. Favorite sport? Basketball. What's, who is the funniest person on the basketball team? Peyton Scarlett. What is your favorite food? Pizza. What is your favorite movie? Uh, Star Wars. What's your favorite color? Orange. Do you have any pets? If so, what's their name? I don't have any pets. Are you an early riser or a sleeper inner? I'd like to sleep in, but I wake up early for basketball. Do you have any siblings? Two. What are their names and how old are they? Older sister Allie and a younger brother Morgan. Have you ever been arrested? I have not. What's your favorite ice cream? Vanilla. What do you want to go to school for in the future? Criminal justice. Netflix or cable? Netflix. What is your favorite holiday? Christmas. Congratulations, you just completed PTV's One Minute One-on-One. -on -one. Take a look at our PTV Sports Rundown for today. Tonight at 6, we have the Lady Pilgrims basketball team. We'll be on the road tonight at New Prairie. Good luck, girls. Over the weekend, the Pride of Plymouth marching band traveled to Pike High School in Indianapolis for a semi-state. The band performed at 2 p.m. and unfortunately placed 16th, which is not high enough to advance the state. We at PTV want to congratulate the Pride of Plymouth Marching Band and band director Brian Ames on their great season, and we will miss our seniors. The PT PHS Theater Department has been working extremely hard on this year's children's show, The Spill of Sleeping Beauty. This week is the official show week, and this is the first time the Theater Department's day show has sold out audience. Today and tomorrow, dozens of elementary school and preschools from Michiana will be bused in during school hours to see the show. The first time slot is at 10 a.m. The second slot is at 1 p.m. Because the production will be double casted, there will be two actors for each role. The red cast and crew will be on stage tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. and then again on Saturday at 2 p.m. While the white cast and crew will be performing Saturday at 6.30 p.m. and then again at 2 p.m. on Sunday. All shows will be in the PHS Auditorium. Tickets to see the Spell Swimming Beauty are $4 for children's 12 and under, 
and five for everyone else. Well, I'm most excited for the theater arts too, like the rap that they do, because it's really funny and they really get into it. And then my role in the play is Quill, which I'm like the queen's funky assistant, I guess. And then uh, I like to help with the makeup because it's fun, I guess. Ladies, there will be a second call-up meeting for any girl interested in playing softball this spring. The meeting will be held this coming Tuesday in the WSOI Gray Room. Thanks for joining us with this week's show. I'm Jacob Coach. I'm Kelsey Vance. See you next week, PHS.